everybody. Research has shown that our health depends on biodiversity, and there is no sport without health. As we saw before, biodiversity is in a massive decline, and Plantipolis is here to fix it. What we do uh, is to design, implement, and monitor biodiversity green spaces. We have a strong scientific foundation, and our projects thrive through client involvement. Our designs can be implemented in any outdoor space, such as surrounding outdoor sports facilities, or, for example, at the ground belonging to the manufacturer producing sport goods. You can ask, why do we need Plantipolis? So at the moment, we, send, we can support biodiversity in two ways. First is a large landscape project uh, run on the, this very large scale, which has a strong scientific foundation, but the only means that we can support such projects is financially. On the other hand, we have small-scale projects like naturalistic gardens, but the chances are, because you are lacking the scientific foundation, you will not achieve as a good result as you want for the biodiversity conservation. Here comes Plantipolis. We provide a foundation to make sure that small and medium-scale projects have a maximum on-site impact. How does it work is also our uniqueness. We use a model to determine which animal species can reach your location and provide what they need on site. Let's have a look at an example. This is a swallowtail butterfly. The model showed it can reach your location. We will make sure that it, can have, it has a food for the caterpillar as well as uh, nectary plants for the adult form so that the species can thrive. Of course, we do this for all species that can reach your location to support as many as possible. What Plantipolis bring, brings to biodiversity is first that local biodiversity supporting actions are possible and anybody can take a meaningful action. We engage people, and what we think is important and attractive for the companies is that we provide an impact report with which they can share their successful story on biodiversity conservation with others and engage them to act too. In the future, we would like to build an online platform for the green space design inform, um, informed decisions on the green space design. To reach this goal, we first need to completely remove manual steps that are currently in our model. And with your support today, we can reach this automatization. We hope that with Plantipolis, every square meter of the green space will be used to its maximum to support biodiversity. Thank you. Thank you. I saw a nice picture of the Seoul Olympic Park <laughs> in your slides. Uh, to what extent have you um, used your technology in the context of the games or large-scale sport events? Uh, and to what extent you use this experience to maybe uh, the future project you would like to develop, because your name seems to lead to actually uh, working in cities. Yes, so we work where people and nature connect, and I think sport facilities is one of those places. We uh, worked with uh, some smaller scale projects, um, and we believe that if we work with the sport facilities, this can be a long-term goal. If we transform the space there, it can be useful longer and also encourage sport and also a great recovery. Imagine sitting uh, surrounding by, by, by singing birds. So definitely urban biodiversity and, and bringing biodiversity back into human spaces is also huge on IUCN's agenda. I'm just wondering, who will look after these spaces once you've done your job? Like, how are you connecting with the local authorities? Well, who would be the custodian of these spaces? Yes, at the moment we are looking at them because we are in the learning phase. So for us, this monitoring part is extremely important, that we know if our designs are actually what we want to achieve. Are, they getting, are we getting the most? And when the projects are run on the larger scale, so if the online platform is possible, um, then we guess that would be into the normal maintenance team, but we hope uh, we will support them with all information needed. I love this uh, project. My only comment or question is that here it's a sports for nature challenge, so I would encourage you to build into 
uh, your program, how sports, amateur sports, even the person that just likes to go and walk uh, in parks or, you know, in, in nearby forests, how they could contribute to your project? I think it's more, st more, more st to the sport, uh, to people who govern sport facilities. And we know but that biodiversity encourages outdoor space. So there is a meet of uh, ex expectations, yes.